what do you think happens? I, I, I mean, there are so many questions right now with real estate and, 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 and so many places out right outside of major metropolitan areas where people want to buy, but there's still so many questions about the economy. What, how do you think this plays out? I think people are getting in right now. It's really surprising, but we're seeing people flee the urban areas, the small apartments where they've been sheltered in place, looking for homes outside the city. That's why the builders are seeing such a pop. We still have this very, very tight supply of existing homes for sale. The question now remains, is this a temporary bump? People suddenly want to get into that home now, or is this that real surge of that pent-up demand? And we're not going to know that until the fall, but these numbers just keep surprising one after the other. Does anyone know what's going on with the real estate market? There's always that final frenzy before the storm. We're going to dive into the actual numbers and find out about mortgage forbearance, or what's better known as not paying your mortgage. It's time to jump into the facts on this real estate market and why people aren't paying their mortgage. Last month, this article was published and I wanted to see how many homes were actually foreclosed on from 2006 until 2010, the peak of the last financial crisis. As it turns out, 9.6 million homes were foreclosed on during that four year time span. This article goes on to say that 30% of Americans with home loans could stop paying and that number equates to 15 million households, as opposed to the approximately 10 million that were foreclosed on in the last real estate crisis. In April, nearly half of people who accepted mortgage forbearance made their payment, but that number is continuing to decline. Approximately 4.75 million homeowners are in a forbearance program. That's equivalent to 9% of all mortgages currently not being paid. As we approach 20% of mortgages not being paid, that is more people than lost their homes in the four years during the financial crisis. In May, only 21% of people in forbearance made their payment. Initially, many borrowers did not need the bailout now more do. This is where it gets really interesting. 70% of homeowners wanted to enjoy some time off from their normal payments and three out of four said they felt guilty about it. Come on, you gotta tap that like button for all those guilty homeowners out there. When you let people stop making payments, when should they start back up again? 4.75 million people are not making their home loan payments and the volume continues to tick up. The nation's largest owner of loans, Fannie Mae has extended a lifeline to struggling homeowners, or have they? In the fine print, you'll notice that homeowners who entered into a forbearance plan are only eligible after making three timely payments, or if they have successfully paid back the entire amount needed to reinstate their loan. Gee, thanks Fannie Mae. You were willing to let someone who has not made a payment refinance after making 90 days worth of payments, or they pay back all the payments that they've missed? At that point, why would the homeowner need to refinance? All of the big banks, small banks, and lenders of all sizes are rushing to help homeowners with their payments. But wait a second, when did a bank ever want to help anyone? They just want to get paid more, right? Keep the loans longer? Make more interest? Let's take a look at Quicken Loans and their signature website, Rocket Mortgage. How does their mortgage assistance work? Ah, we will give you three months off and then an automatic three month extension. Oh, that sounds good. And if you can't make your payment after six months, just check back and let us know and you can request another three months and then an automatic three months after that for a total of 12 months with no payments. That sounds great. So how do you get current on your loan? Option one, make your normal payment plus extra. Wait, wait, wait a second. Bad idea. I don't want to make my normal payment plus some. Option two, receive a deferral or partial claim and pay back the total when you sell your home or refinance later. Yeah, that sounds great. I want option two, please option two. But wait, there's option three, a loan modification, AKA a huge boondoggle for the bank. I've never met a loan modification that didn't create more revenue for the bank by either extending the loan terms or by making the borrower pay interest on top of missed payments. And then there's option four, pay back all the missed payments in full. Whoa, not gonna happen. So the homeowner really wants option number two and the bank wants options one, three, or four. Who do you think's gonna win? Ultimately, what we're gonna see is a lot more of these, but the good news is that you have 12 months to spend those missed mortgage payments. This episode definitely caused the light bulb to explode.